Hey, welcome to another episode of Coffee and Hema with me, Jamie McKeever. Um, today, I want to talk about Tier A tournaments, uh, which is and just to praise them, really, uh, which is a topic I've talked about before, but I've got slightly different uh, thoughts I want to share about them today. Um, and the, the real reason for this is that it was uh, Albion Cup at the weekend, um, which hosted a Tier A longsword and a Tier B longsword. Um, which I took uh, took silver in the tier A. So, um, but I don't really want to talk about the finals so much. I want to talk about the rest of the tournament, which I think is really where um, I'm, I'm getting the biggest buzz from uh, from the weekend. Um, in Albion, the way this was done was they said that if you're in the top 500 on HEMA ratings, um, you must enter tier A, and anybody else who wants to, it's up to you. If you die, you die. Didn't really happen. Um, but uh, so we had a few people who were kind of top uh, top six or seven hundred, uh, really top six hundreds, uh, who decided they want to have a bit of a challenge. Um, and it was a relatively small tournament, uh, certainly by the standards that we come to see in the UK. Um, I think it was in the end with dropouts, 20 fences altogether. Um, and it was fantastic. Um, the, and the, the real difference and the real kind of benefit of the TRA longsword is that there were no easy fights in that, right? So if you think about ratings, fine, I, you know, I'm, I'm hovering around 50. Um, so I was just, uh, I was top seed in my pool still. Um, but when that happens in a normal tournament, I'm, you know, I'm going into a pool, especially if we were the top few seeds of those top seeds and say eight pools or whatever it happens to be. Um, you know, you go in and um, you have some fights which are, you know, they're fun, right? There's nothing wrong with them, but they are rather easy. Um, and you can kind of relax for a lot of it. You sort of don't really want to go all out because you kind of got to save your energy uh, for the later fights. And also it can be kind of a dick move. Um None of that happened for me at all in this uh, in this tournament. Um, uh, I kept saying to myself, "There's no easy fights. Don't relax." And I needed to um, because from the outset, from the pools all the way through the finals, I had no fights. No, I had one fight um, that uh, got to the last exchange, and um, and only one person could have won it. Um, so there was one fight I had with a four point difference, so I, I think I scored 10 uh, 6. Um, and uh, the other fights were all uh, one or two point difference, bearing in mind hits are two or three points um, in the Wessex system. Um, in the finals, I lost 10 uh, 6, but it was 8 6 on the, uh, the, the last exchange, and then he hit me again for, for 10 6. Um, and it's just something you don't see in a regular tournament. To be pushed by every single opponent that I fenced, and I, I, I want to praise them all because they all fenced brilliantly, you know, um, including the people who weren't in the top 500 and decided they want to step up. I think they made the right choice um, in, in doing so because they, they really they really showed that they belonged there uh, in terms of the fencing that they pulled out. Um, you know, to be pushed to that level from the outset is something that you just don't get from a, from a, a standard tournament with the top bottom seed. And it made for a, just a, a wonderful experience as far as I'm concerned. Um, a lot of tournaments I come out of, I think, oh, I wish I had a few more fights or I wish I could have fought a few more people. For this one, I got to the end of it. I was like, I'm, I'm done. I'm toast. You know, this is this was too much uh, too much stress and too much energy. I need to, need to go lie down, uh, take a shower kind of thing. Um, but it really allows you to kind of test your skills. And the wonderful thing about it was I had to be so much more adaptive uh, in my fencing to the opponents than I would uh, I normally would be. Um, you know, again, in a, most normal tournaments, you can kind of in the pools just um, fall back on your greatest hits, as it were. You know, you've got a couple of tricks, just pull them out, you've got to do them. And, you know, against most opponents, it's probably just, it's just fine and it works. And then maybe there's a couple where you've got to be like, okay, I've got to think about this a bit more. Um, but the, the mental effort of, Kind of thinking about okay well that didn't work now i've got to try this other thing uh will that work and try it again you know that is for me the thing that 
uh, tournaments are kind of uniquely good at forcing you to do, um, even more so than sparring, because you're so time limited in terms of your uh, the amount of time you've got to do it. Um, and when you have these kind of these close fights like that against skilled opponents who themselves have a varied repertoire, um, you, you know, you really have to pull out all the stops in terms of your tactical thinking, in terms of your ability to adapt to the opponent, in terms of your ability to uh, to make sure that you know you're you're not just um, you know playing on easy mode or just constantly doing the same, spamming the same move. Um, that's really mostly what I wanted to say. Um, you know, it just just really, I really hope more events do these kinds of things in TRA tournaments in particular. I, I really think that the community is now. Uh, mature enough that those really add value by making sure that people who are traveling, especially, um, you know, are traveling and getting stretched from the outset. I've had tournaments before where, you know, the pools have been easy um, and then the elimination tree I got was easy because I cleaned up in the pools and then I got to the final and I was like, oh, now I've got to wake up after my seventh fight. Um, okay, uh, that's a bit of a ramp. Um, and I will say that actually as well that you know the finals actually of the TOA you know great you got two good fences but generally speaking in the finals of any tournament you're probably going to get a match between some great fences. Um, so I, I fenced Miralatilo who's excellent fencer. Uh, it was a hard final. Don't get me wrong, 100%. Um, but it was not uh, you know twice as hard as the final I would expect in a, in a Wessex. Uh, it was a bit harder. Um, whereas the easiest match I had in the entire tournament would probably be equivalent to a quarterfinal match. Um, and, and I probably had, uh, four matches that were at least as hard as what I'd expect to see in a semifinal, um, throughout the, or, or even a final, you know, across the, across the whole tournament. So for me, again, just to wrap up the real benefit of those close tournaments, but particularly long today from, from my case um is that you get so many matches where you've got to just pull out everything in your bag of tricks um in order to do it and i was so happy with my opponents um and the skill that they 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 brought to the table and forced me to bring to the table uh in order to get to where i did and most of them probably uh with a couple of bad decisions on my part in fact all of them with one bad decision on my part could have taken the day um uh, and more than a few got ahead and I had to call it back, uh, which um, uh, I enjoy and I'm particularly good at um, because I, I don't like getting ahead, I, get, I relax too much. So please, if you think about running a tournament, particularly if you've got space for it, think about tiering uh, your tournament so you've got an A and a B tier splitting by some kind of uh, experience uh, metric or whatever you want, or even just letting the fighters choose themselves. You'll get better experience, I think, for the fences, and you get some wonderful matchups that, uh, that, that really you, know, you come away buzzing from. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, and I've got more views on tournaments because I've come out of one, so I'm sure the next few will probably touch upon those as well.